everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lori Candle Lover. Gonna do a um, cold review on a bunch of candles I got today from three different candle companies. All these sales they were having and people ordering, my orders finally came. So um, I finally decided to try the Homeworks candles. I have never tried this brand before. And they had the QVC sale um, and I got the $10 off of the two for 28. So these were $18 for two and um, I got free shipping. So super excited. Um, this is the banana daiquiri. I would have liked to be able to get two different scents just because I've never tried Homeworks before, but it was like you got two of the same scent. So anyway, this smells really good. Um, let me read the scent notes to you. It's, um, sweet banana, coconut froth, dark rum, sugared musk. So these ones smell really good. I'm really glad I got them. I mean, two for 18 bucks with free shipping. You can't beat that for an 18 ounce candle, I think. So, um, really great deal. And, um, I'll do a review on these once I get these melted. I also got some candleberry, little um, 10 ounce candleberries. So I got pink sugar, which I started melting earlier. Smells great, reminds me of like pink sands and stuff like that from um, Goose Creek and whatever similar ones. Um, it's nice, it's like slightly fruity, kind of a sand, like perfumey softness. Um, so yeah, that smells really good. Reminds me a tiny bit of white coral even with that powdery softness in the background from um, Goose Creek but maybe just a hint different but smells really really good the throw on that one so far melting it because it's starting to cool off you can see but i had a wax pool in there uh about a seven this one is buttercream snickerdoodle which on cold smells really yummy i get the um sweetness and vanilla buttercream on that one for sure um so that'll be interesting to see how that one does uh melting so then i also have hot maple toddy um I'm not really sure about this one yet. I get a little hint of cinnamon, some sweetness, that maple, and something else in there. Um, but you know, it's a pretty basic, you know, maple toddy, hot toddy type um, scent, but it smells good so far. So um, obviously I'll be reviewing all these. Honey pecan rum cake. That one smelled so good. The, the, the scent notes on this one when I was ordering were great so I was really interested in this one and it does smell a lot like you know a type of sweet honey pecan type candle um, so we'll see how much that you know rum and cake comes out uh, when that's melting and then I got a little one of these because they were out um, so I got one of the little tea lights or daylights whatever they call them Kringle calls them um, Christmas cookie dough daylight candle from Kringle Anyway, so that one's just sitting on there, but that one uh, doesn't have, it's not a really strong scent on cold so far, but that's a Kringle one. Little uh, daylight candle. And then we have a uh, uh, candleberry cranberry crumb cake. I get the fruitiness. I don't know if that's a fruitiness or a cr actual cranberry, but that'll be interesting to see how it melts or uh, melts or burns with to get that bakery cake i get some of that sweetness and fruitiness of the cranberry um i'm not sure i'm getting a lot of bakery in there on cold so that'll be interesting to see how that one turns out melting and then we have all these kringle candles you guys don't even know i got some good deals on these candles because of the codes i figured out um and some of you guys were able to take advantage of the codes as well when i posted them on uh, the, in the uh, candle groups, Facebook candle groups. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. And I'm sorry for those who ordered before I ordered before I figured out some codes that actually worked. So, um, so this one is Twilight Tonka. Now, scent notes in this one are a little bit different than what I normally would order. I don't like floral scents really, but this one just sounded a little bit different, but still, um, I like Tonka bean. So, I was thinking maybe it would have some of that sweetness of the Tonka in there, but it has a little bit of a <sighs> perfuminess, but it's not overpowering. It's very soft um, and I get sweetness. I, I actually really like this one for a more um, 
slightly florally uh, sweet candle. It's not overpowering. Um, I'm, I'm a very much a gourmand bakery type sweet scent type uh, person. But this one, I'm actually really glad I got it because I like the combination of this. And I think this will be great in the summertime. So, um, yeah, Twilight Tonka. That one smells good good on cold and it's a little bit out of my wheelhouse just a smidge so I'm really interested in that one and then we have white chocolate chai and this the other sorry the other jar type get the lid off there this one I definitely get chai some of those chai spices um, the sweetness is kind of subtle so we'll, it'll be interesting to see how much white chocolate-ish comes through on this one. Um, I think that sweetness is going to be a little bit more subtle and you're going to definitely get a little bit more of that chai tea in there. It does smell really good on cold though. So that's interesting. And then somebody had said that they really liked this one. The, there we go. Apple cider cake. Somebody said they liked it better than the apple cider donut. Some people said they liked the apple cider donut better. But I've had a lot of apple cider donut type candles from like Bath Body Works Goose Creek. So I decided to try the apple cider cake. And I actually, I get some of that apple and some, some of those spices like clove, which I love clove. So we'll see how this comes through with the cake part. But on cold, I get, and you can see there's wax uh, um, oil in there, the scent oils in there, which I really like. That's why I really like... Um, paraffin wax because I love those scent oils coming through the wax. So that one smells really good as an apple-y spice so far. Um, it's not like an apple pie quite. Um, I definitely get more of that cloviness in there with the apple and we'll see how it goes with the bakery coming through on that one when I burn it. Okay, so then we have cherry chai and I did smell this one earlier. I'll take the lid off. Here we go. I'll set that down for a second. Sorry. <laughs> it pops like it holding it up. So, I definitely get some cherry in there. But it's not so overpowering that I can't... I, I can imagine some chai tea in there. With some cherry. I don't get a lot of chai on cold, but I do get that cherry. And it smells really good. It's a nice little bit of a change on a chai take. So that's good. And then we have cashmere and cocoa. Um, someone said this reminded them of more of a kind of a marshmallow fireside. I do get marshmallow in some of that cashmere. This one is really nice. I think my daughter who, I mean, I like the scent myself too. I like the marshmallow fireside, bonfire marshmallow, ones like that. My oldest daughter really loves the woodsy, marshmallow-y, fireside -y type ones. This one I don't get a lot of um, like woodsy or smokiness to it, but I get the coke of the marshmallow and the cocoa cashmere type mix blend. Very nice. Hopefully this one has a good throw. I can see this type being light just because it's got the marshmallow, but hopefully it'll have a really good throw. I can smell it on cold, so hopefully that one will come through nice. So this one is blackberry buttercream, and on cold, this one smells really good. It's, I've got the, I get the baking cupcake in the background. Okay, so if any of you guys have tried the, which I'm sure a lot of you have, the um, eggnog icing. In eggnog icing, you don't get um, frosting or buttercream. In eggnog icing, well, at least for me, I get baking eggnog cupcakes I've, I've smelled them before because I've baked them before so baking eggnog cupcakes is what I get out of eggnog icing this one obviously doesn't smell like eggnog but I get the cupcake I get that vanilla baked cupcake a little bit there with some sweetness from the buttercream blackberry I don't know how much blackberry you're going to get out of this but I get like a sweet baking cupcake with maybe some vanilla icing We'll see what else we can get to come through there when it's melting or burning because that one does smell really good. Um, and then we have strawberry mint tart. Okay, so I was really hesitant a little bit. Well, hesitant just because the mint. 
but oh man okay so smelling this one on cold smelling this one on cold is so good i get that real strawberry on cold i get like macerated strawberries if you don't know what that is it's when you take sliced strawberries and you put them in the sugar and a little water and you get that sh that strawberry sugary strawberry juice i get almost it's like a mix between a strawberry jam and ma macerated strawberries i don't get mint on cold in the lid but it smells good my oldest my second oldest daughter loves strawberry and blueberry bakery candles so i thought of her this one i got this one but that is yummy that has got a good scent like strong lid scent so i'm hoping this one is a good thrower strawberry mint tart oh it smells so good all right also thought about my second oldest daughter when i ordered this one blueberry french toast because it's got blueberry this one i get blueberries i don't know if i get french toast or like a my cat she's making noise blueberry french toast is like a your basic blueberry bakery type blueberry muffin blueberry um, biscotti blueberry tart it's got blueberry and some bakery but it so on the cold in the lid it does smell good and i get the blueberry uh so yes i like it when i get actual blueberry and blueberry scented candles because sometimes they're just the blueberry is just overpowered by the other stuff maple sugar cookie okay get the maple get sweet cookie smells really good this is definitely a, a bakery type that i would definitely like maple sugar cookie okay this one i have not smelled yet i have not taken the lid off and smelled this one yet since i took them out of the box so this is going to be interesting raven yeah she's in heat okay i get christmas market similar to like the christmas market from goose creek raven um i get oh man okay i get a little bit of like a fresh soapiness almost in the lid with that outdoorsy -ness. i don't get like pine tree really or like real real tree-ish i get like a almost a clean almost a clean soapy outdoorsiness so that's really interesting to be honest this one's probably my least favorite so far just because it's more of a soapiness, but I knew it probably would be similar to one of the, some of the other Christmassy outdoorsy tree-ish ones. So I knew that I was taking a chance. I like the label and I don't mind having some different types of scents, uh, you know, branching out a little bit. Winter and winter splendor are two of my favorites. So anytime I'm thinking it could be anything close, I'll try it out. Um, because those are my two favorite, like wintry, outdoorsy, pine, cedar, whatever's in those type. Uh, this one's got a little bit more of a soapy cleanness to it than those. And then Cozy Cabin. I ordered two of these because Ryder Wrecker in one of the Facebook groups said that um, this was kind of like Marshmallow Fireside. And he's right. It's very good. <laughs> I'm glad I got two of these. My daughter will really like these. This one... Um, is not like the cocoa and cashmere is or cashmere cocoa, whatever it's called. Um, that one is a little bit less woodsy, more cashmere and the marshmallow. And it smells really great. This one is more of that lightly smoky. It's not really smoky, but lightly outdoorsy, smoky marshmallow. Sometimes it has a little bit of a musky bite at the back of it. Um, when I, cause I smelled it a couple of times, but it's, now I don't smell that a little bit of a muskiness at the back of it, but that one, it wasn't so overpowering that it made me not like the candle, but now I can't smell it. But yes, this one's fantastic. I'm glad I got two of those because that gives me one and my oldest daughter can have one and then I can burn mine at my own leisure. Anyway, you guys, super awesome hauls today and I'm excited to burn these or melt these and do some reviews for you guys because um, these, I've only ever had one other order and I did a review of these, of the um, Candleberry. I've only ever had one other order of Candleberry. So this is, these are fairly new to me. Never had any of the uh, Homeworks. And this is 
I don't know if I've ever had a Kringle candle before. So super excited about all of these and can't wait to do some reviews for you guys. And I do have one more Candleberry big one coming that's like the waffle cone um, that I got like amazing deal onto. These I got an amazing deal because I had the birthday thing so it was like $10 off. Um, and I think I, I, yeah, I think I got free shipping too. I'm not sure, but excellent deals on all of these candles. And then I have one more big one coming that I got a really great deal on too. That was like super cheap with the $10 off. So I will review that one when I get it too. Anyway, that's my two cents on all these on cold and can't wait to do some reviews for you guys. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I hope you guys have a super great night. Bye-bye.